non dark mode is so weird subscribe and leave a comment to see your face in the next video what was the dumbest thing you thought as a child i used to think my mom was such a good shopper she would pick out all these groceries and when she got up to the checker she would only give them one piece of money and they would give her several pieces of money back and we got to keep the groceries that man was so stupid, mommy, you gave him $100 bill, and he gave us back 3 $1 bills. There was an old kid's book or poem or something where a kid does this. Someone gives him a dollar, and he trades it for 2 quarters, because 2 is more than 1, then 3 dimes, etc. He comes back with a handful of pennies, and is super proud of himself. Grandparents were assigned to families. Like, I didn't know my grandma was my dad's mom. Same, I remember asking my mom why, did Uncle Greg call Grandma Mom? One of my nephews burst out with your cousin's name, S Mom, at Christmas. He's like 7. No idea what was going through his head. Own two credit cards and use them to pay for each other for infinite money. Depending on your age at the time, that's actually a pretty good understanding of credit cards for a kid. Incorrect, sure, but better than most kids understand it. Honestly, I've seen adults with a worse understanding. I knew someone who thought she could just buy whatever, as long as she could make the minimum payment. You're not wrong. I had a friend who got his first credit card, and thought that at the beginning of each month the card would be reloaded with the credit limit. Like a $1000 limit meant, even if you were maximumed out last month, you'd have $1000 more credit, to use the next month. He got a student card with a low limit like $300 or something, and maximumed it out right away. Then at the beginning of the next month he was perplexed, and frustrated by the fact that he couldn't buy anything more with it, until he paid down his balance. His rationale was something along the lines of well, if it doesn't refill how the hell do people end up with tens of thousands of dollars of credit card debt? They just have 100 different credit cards or something? It's a very good thing that he got roped into that low limit card as his first card. This little life lesson could have ended up costing him a lot more than it did. That the Underground Railroad was a literal secret underground subway style steam engine that Harry Tubman was the conductor of. I don't know where I got messed up B slash C, while I understood it wasn't a literal railroad, I did think it was literally underground. Just secret tunnels from all over leading north. When you have a baby you have to push one of your testicles out, and it became the baby egg. I had no idea how I was my parents third child. I was my daddy's third testicle. Daddy, how long did it take you to grow another ball to have me? The heck are they teaching you at that school? I was vaguely aware of a TV show called Ironsides, about a lawyer in a wheelchair. Whenever I heard the word piratical, I thought it meant a paraplegic lawyer. It made sense to me that people in wheelchairs could make excellent lawyers, based on the nature of the job and their physical limitations. I thought piratical's were lawyers who'd parachute to the scene of a crime, so people would have their story straight before the cops showed up. Like paratroopers. My parents gave me a book about the birds and the bees that was illustrated. They showed a couple in bed in the missionary position. In that same book, there was a picture of a man's erect penis, which was shown as parallel to the floor as he stood. The book didn't explain that the penis is somewhat flexible. There was a diagram of the vagina and uterus, but no picture showing the naked woman. I didn't have any sisters and my parents weren't the kind of parents that walked around naked or semi-naked, clothed at all times. For the longest time I thought I was deformed. My vagina was between my legs, when those pictures made it look like it should be on my stomach. I was horrified, and I would scream if anyone opened the bathroom slash bedroom door while I was changing or using the bathroom, because my deformity would be discovered. That babies were inside their mom's literal belly, if she swallowed her cherry tomato hole I thought it would land and bounce on the baby's head. That sperm were the size of your fist, squeezed their way out of your penis while you were sleeping. If a girl was in the bed with you and wiggled their way up inside her to conceive the baby, this was based on facts of life pop-up book where the sperm were that size. Really terrible reading skills and parents who wouldn't directly answer my questions just gave me the book, so I figured they were to scale. If babies forced their way out of women at the end during birth, which TV had taught me, I figured maybe nature was balancing the scales by having one of those bastard sperm tennis balls squeeze its way out of the man to begin the process. 
I knew babies came about by sleeping with each other, I just didn't know how sleeping could do it, and I filled in the gaps. Now I'm imagining millions of sperm fists coming out of a guy's dick as a crazy ninja move in some weird anime. I remember watching the movie Cocoon with my grandparents. I could not have been more than 4. For some reason I did use that, in order to become adults. Children had to die in these pool cocoons, and be reborn old. I freaked my cousins out, and had a whole group of kids crying at a holiday party over our impending doom. Ruined Christmas pictures that year. That if you drink, while peeing you'll keep peeing, until you stop drinking. Why are you drinking, while peeing first of all? I'm not, or rather I didn't, cause I didn't want to infinitely pee. I used to believe that people that spoke other languages translated their language to mine in their head. OMG. I thought for years that French people thought in English, but translated things in their head, before they said them. I just assumed learning slash speaking French was as difficult for them as it was for me. I went to French classes from age 4. It wasn't until I was probably 11 over 12 and really thought about it, that I realized they think in French, even. Now I put back quote probably think in French like seriously I'm almost 30, and I'm not sure it's sunk in yet. As a Finnish person, I actually think in English like 50% of the time. Benefits of learning a language well. Being able to think in multiple languages makes it easy for me to keep my thoughts in line, when I can just switch languages to find words that best describe something. I thought that there would be a baby inside every girl's stomach, as soon as she is born, and inside that baby's stomach to there would be a tiny baby, the cycle goes on and on, and that the baby keeps growing as we grow, and after getting married the doctors will cut the stomach, and take the baby out, to make space for another baby. Well, women are born with all their eggs in place, but not mature cells. My uncle is a priest for an obscure Hindu offshoot religion, and he told me quite young that I shouldn't play sport, because each person only gets a set number of breaths in their life, and getting out of breath use them up quicker. I used to spend hours laying in bed trying to make my breaths as long and slow as possible. In fairness, I actually have a decent lung capacity as an adult so maybe it had a positive effect. Jeez, that had to scare the hell out of you. Good breathing technique for relaxing, but not if you're afraid you're going to die. Yeah he's weird with his religion. My grandmother, his mom, died last year, and we had her funeral in a Christian church. He was doing a eulogy, and then decided to tell everyone he was a Hindu priest and read out a passage from his holy book. He hadn't pre-warned anyone about this. I don't think I've ever seen anyone hold back rage more than the vicar at that moment. People that died in movies really died. I was watching a movie with my dad wherein the main character had his arm cut off. I turned to my dad and asked, that's fake, right? And my dad, very sincerely, said no, that actor's getting paid a lot of money to have his arm cut off. And all the color drained from my face and I said, oh, okay. I was in my early 20s when I had that aha moment where I realized he was messing with me. I had the opposite with my dad. I said something like back quote wow, she must have gotten paid a lot to cut her arm off for a movie and he just looked at me like back quote what are you, stupid? I felt terrible as a kid to eat. I wouldn't eat in front of people, and every meal I would find myself thinking poor food, getting eaten because I was convinced they had emotions. You must be a screenwriter for sausage party. I anthropomorphized everything as a kid. I also felt bad for the food I ate, and for stepping on grass. The worst was stuffed animals. I remember we had a Christmas thing at school in first grade in which everybody brought a gift, and then the teacher drew numbers, to see who would get to pick the next gift. There was a huge cabbage patch tea set that all of the girls were drooling over, including me. Well, my number was called first, but I skipped the tea set, and picked this dirty old teddy bear, because I could not stand the thought of him sitting there watching as everything else got picked before him. When I was really young, I was convinced I was pregnant. I'm a man BTW, with a baby cat named Bridget. My family decided to see how long I would believe this, so they never told me how ridiculously impossible that was. I went on believing it for about 5 months, that's how long little me thought cat pregnancy lasted, and then when the baby never came, I went to my mom, and asked when Bridget would be born. She finally told me, that boys can't get pregnant and humans can't give birth to cats. 
I was traumatized. Little me was so excited to be a cat father, and then it was ripped away from me. I was such a stupid kid.